Now suppose uh, we have been asked to compare the enolic content of these two keto forms and uh, I have been also asked to draw the enolic form of these two keto forms. So for acetone we already have done and for the given substrate we'll do. The first thing that you have to learn is you have to draw the you have to learn to draw the enolic form of this compound of this keto form. So we'll begin by drawing the enolic form of the substrate. The first step is base will come and it will abstract H plus from alpha position of this keto. Now I can cite two alpha positions here. Now the first thing is to identify from which alpha position will hydrogen be abstracted and obviously by now you must be mature enough to identify from which position this hydrogen will be abstracted. Uh, if you abstract from position 1 then there will be a resonance with this C double bond O and this anion will be resonance stabilized. If you abstract from position 2 there will be a resonance from C double bond O but there will be a resonance from this double bond as well. So, uh, S plus will be abstracted from position 2 because the conjugate base so formed will be more stable. So the first step would be base will come, it will abstract a proton and this conjugate base will be formed and then the second step resonance will occur and the charge will get delocalized to a most stable position. Now there will be uh, from here obviously resonance will be on both the sides with C double bond O and with this C double bond C. This negative charge is in cross conjugation but for the sake of taking the negative charge to the most stable position we will draw the RS resonating structure in which this negative charge is an oxygen. So I am drawing the resonating structure where the negative charge will go to oxygen. You could have drawn another resonating structure where this charge will come on this carbon but that would not have given us the resonating structure in which the negative charge is on most stable position. So here we have this RS and the third step will occur with this RS. So in the third step base will come that OH minus that has taken away the H plus from this carbon will come and return the hydrogen and we will have this enolic form. So this is the in all of this keto. So we, ha we, we are quite handy now with drawing the enolic form. So here this is. So once I have drawn this enolic form now I, I need to compare the enolic content of this substrate and this substrate. Now the enolic content, the enolic form of this acetone is this. Now as we have discussed earlier that the enol eno enolic form are enolic form are highly unstable and keto form exist as more than 99 percent but still still we want to compare the enolic content be although the enolic content of both the substrates would be very very less but still we want to compare for the sake of understanding for the sake of development of concepts we want to compare the enolic content of these two substrates that means we want to compare the content of this in the dynamic isomerism of keto and enol of these two tautomers and similarly the enolic content of this enol in the dynamic isomerism of these two tautomers. Now we have to look for certain factors that provide stability. Now the factors which provide stability up till now that we have seen is aromaticity that is the phenomena of cyclic ring. Here, here we have a cyclic ring. So there cannot be question of aromaticity. The next thing is C double bond O. C double bond O is broken in both the cases so they are at par in that sense. The next thing is resonance. Now uh, resonance. Can we have any resonance here? Now this C double bond O, th 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 there's no C double bond O, there's C double bond C, this C, C double bond C is uh, not in conjugation with any other pi bond. Here this C double bond C that has been formed as a result of tautomerism is in conjugation with a already present C double bond C. So these two C double, C double bond C 
are in conjugation and there can be resonance between them and there cannot be any resonance with this C double bond C with any other bond. So here we have a benefit. The enol that has been generated, the in of that enol is such that it is in conjugation with a already present C double bond C. Now this C double bond C was not able to do resonance previously because of this CH2 which is sp3 hybridized. This C double bond C is in isolation with this C double bond O. Now after enol formation this C double bond C can do resonance with this C double bond C. So obviously the enol content of this substrate is going to be greater than acetone because there is a extra factor that would provide stability to this enol which is absent in this enol. So this is how we go ahead. This is how we understand the relative percentage of different compounds without doing experiments. So uh, enol content of the substrate is going to be greater than acetone. Now another question uh, is uh, let's let's move ahead with this problem. Suppose I give you this two for uh, diketo pentane. So uh, I'm I'm giving you the information that this particular substrate has seventy six percent of enol. Now, as such, I can't ask you the percentage of enol. We cannot intuitively or theoretically, we cannot guess the exact percentage of enol, but experimentally, somehow, it is known that the enol percentage of this substrate is 76%. Now, I'm asking you the reason why it should be as high as 76%. The enol content of acetone is only, it's, it's, it's less than 1%. But the enol content of this particular substrate is 76%. Now this kind of problem will enrich our knowledge on tautomerism and enrich our concepts in tautomerism and will bring at ease this topic for us. Now let's go about thinking. Why should it be 76%? The first thing that I have to do is I have to draw the enol form and then look for the relative stability and then I have to identify what are the factors that are operating in that enol form. The first task is to draw the enol form of this keto. Now the first step in drawing the enol form is acid base reaction. Base comes and it abstracts hydrogen from a particular position. That position happens to be alpha position of C double bond O. Now here all these three positions are alpha position of C double bond O. This position this carbon is alpha for C this C double bond O. This carbon is alpha for both of them and this carbon is alpha for this C double bond O. So as such there's a chance of abstraction of hydrogen from all these three positions. But we abstract hydrogen from the position where the hydrogen is most acidic. Most acidic meaning after removal of hydrogen, the negative charge is most stable. If I remove hydrogen from this position, the negative charge hence developed on this carbon will do resonance with this C double bond O and hence it will be resonance stabilized. Same goes with this for this carbon. If I remove hydrogen from here, the negative charge developed on this carbon will do resonance with this C double bond O. But if I remove hydrogen from this carbon in between, it can do resonance with both the C double bond O because it is in cross conjugation. So the negative charge, the extent of delocaliza delocalization will be greater. Hence negative charge will be more stable on this position and hence negative abstraction of hydrogen will occur on this carbon. So this is the first step we are done with. Abstraction of hydrogen. Second step is delocalization of this negative charge. This negative charge will go, actually it will be delocalized in both the C double bond O, but for the sake of drawing resonating structure, we can we draw the resonating structure making uh, this negative charge do resonance with any one of C double bond O. Suppose we draw the RS with this, we can draw with that as well. That's not going to make any difference because this is a symmetric structure. Now I'm drawing straight away the resonating structure and you must be mature enough to cope up with this 
uh, step jumping because uh, by this time you must be very very handy with drawing resonating structures if you are not then please go revise resonating structures learn to draw them and then come back and continue with the course because as this course will progress uh, if you don't have the basic concepts clear then later on you'll face hell lot of difficulties so r drawing the resonating structures is something we are done with and I expect you to be handy with drawing resonating structures if you are not please spend some time drawing resonating structures otherwise things problems would s simply get compounded as we move ahead so this is how we draw the RS and the negative charge charge goes from carbon to oxygen and here we are third step that base will come and give back the hydrogen that it has abstracted from the carbon so I'm writing straight away the third step hydrogen will simply come here no big deal here we are this is the enol content so uh, this is enol content and look at this what you can identify do you find any uh, factors that would stabilize this enol the first thing is the first step of the enol formation is the RDS and um, because that's the step where bond is broken second step is simple resonance third step bond has been formed so the first step is RDS and the RDS can be passed very easily in this case because this H plus the hydrogen here is very acidic because it is doing resonance the, the conjugate base is doing resonance with 2C double bond O in acetone you are you are having the negative charge in resonance with only 1C double bond O so the first reason that you can think of why this enol content must be very high because the RDS of enol formation will be passed very easily because the hydrogen is very acidic. So the first reason why it should have very high enol content is acidic hydrogen. Okay. The second reason what we can think of is the C double bond O is in conjugation with the formed newly formed C double bond C when you have acetone this you have this kind of enol this C double bond C is not in conjugation with any other bond here the C double bond C formed is in conjugation with this C double bond O so this C double bond C can do resonance with this C double bond O right so there's a resonance in enol so there is some more stability in enol than normal enol so here we have the second factor that adds to the stability of this enol is C double bond C in conjugation with C double bond O. 